Hi guys, and welcome to this video here on the Maven Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Guilty Grey. Hello, nice to meet you. Name to the face and all that kind of stuff. And this guy here on, I don't know what side he's going to put himself when he edits this. Him. <laughs> That's uh, King Costi. Say hello, King Costi. Hello, King Costi. How's everyone doing? <laughs> he's a pretty boy, isn't he? All right. Well, I believe we've had some interesting news today. Or, I mean, was it really news? Anyway, videos of leaked Elden Ring. Uh, King Costi can't wait to start speaking, so let's get on with it. But Elden I, Ring news. Yeah, um, I can't tell if it was yesterday or today because I think I saw it and like passed out maybe for like a, a whole day. <laughs> Woke up and was like, "What <laughs> happened? Was week. What? Well, that was? Did that? Wait, yes, I played oh, Elden Ring last week when you were in a coma still. So." <laughs> Okay. Oh wow! Imagine that it was a, a coma induced by the trailer that put me out until release day. That would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'd have woke yeah, up, yeah. guys. Did you see the trailer? The trailer, Costi. Here's the oh, game. Yeah. I feel like oh, I've got the DLC. It's coming out next week. Wow! <laughs> you lucky sign my box. It was a it was a fantastic um, day, I will say. Um, yeah. So uh, I mean. It, it started off with the news that a trailer had been leaked, and then. The leaked trailer showed up, and uh, if anybody Obviously hasn't seen it, it. But yeah. Well, I mean, copyright reasons. Yeah, can't can't really show it. But then again, I say that. I mean, we've kind of spoken during the day, and I, I haven't seen anybody have their video taken down. Um, anybody showing the clips, and I, I think if they were going to act on it and do it fast, I think they would have done it. Um, but yeah, like like we've said, I think parts of this just seem a little bit too perfectly timed. Um, I mean, you can say that you can choose to believe that all the rumors were true and everything we heard leading up to this was accurate. And then in that case, we can go, aha, you, I knew it was going to happen. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a cool little trailer. Um, we'll go through it. Yeah. To, I'll try, I'm trying to think of what we kind of see, but it first opens up, you kind of see these wagons. There's these big, uh, giants i would say kind of very reminiscent of the the old one in um demon souls kind of like looking like more like a uh, um branches uh also what's the the, the bed of chaos in uh yeah. the, kind of a similar to that but obviously they're more humanoid and they're dragging these these wagons you can see these massive spikes in their chest that's attaching them to these wagons there in in a lot of the scenes in the trailer you see this um tree in the background that's not very clear um yeah but I saw somebody who, who somehow managed to make the, the video a lot clearer. So you can see this, um, I want to say like a spirit tree. Now, um, that kind of leads back to the first trailer because apparently in the first trailer where you see the, um, the worker doing the hammering, that's actually taking place inside the tree from the concept art we've seen. But either way, that kind of goes on to a different task. We see this tree in the background. We then also see the reveal of different classes. So we see one class that looks very similar to sort of like a, a dexterity build. It has like the, um, I want to say the scimitar that we, we see in, in Dark Souls 3, the character with the head wrap. Then we kind of see one with an ax. We see a mage. We see a, a dragon land. We see a dragon fly over and uh, I say spit some fire bit of a uh, lyrical <laughs> lyricalness he comes over does that lyrical thing but then we also see the most important thing which is we see the character role and judging by that role that is definitely a dark souls role so that lets us know we have a dark souls game on our hands um a couple more bosses in there that there seems to be a very big boss um reminds me of dark souls one who's the who's the the, the boss of death the um nito nito it kind of reminded me a bit of nito um Obviously, there's dragons in there. Um, there's a, a voiceover, which I thought was quite interesting, talking about how they made it over the, uh, the Sea of Fogs and have now made it to the Riftland, which is the edge of the map. Um, I think that kind of just continues the whole lore that is throughout these games, even though this is, is in conjunction with R.R. R. Martin, yeah, who does um, Game <coughs> of Thrones. I think there's still going to be that that core Miyazaki um, from software um, story in it as well so that you can kind of connect it I mean we can kind of uh, we can't speculate now because we know nothing of the, story, of the story but I like the fact that fog was used in the trailer um, yeah. that kind of cuts off I mean it, it, on this trailer I've got to say on the trailer it says confidential and it says I think um, BN Halo uh, which links to a um, a subsidiary of 
which BNH stands for Bandai Namco Helios, which is like a, a, a Greek offshoot. And then the next trailer that we kind of see, which is just solely gameplay, um, little little bits of gameplay, uh, nothing massive. That one is also stamped, but that one is stamped BNEE, which is Bandai Namco Europe. Um, Okay. So the, the reason I bring those up is because what people are saying is that these are videos from last year. These are not new videos. The reason when you see the character reveals and they look very similar to the Dark Souls character models, obviously there's probably going to be some crossover in armor and stuff is because they're using, they're using the old character, they're using stand-in uh, character designs, should we say. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, I feel like I skipped over the, the stealth part of the uh, demo, actually, because there's a part... Yeah. There's a part where you see uh, the the um, the characters crouching, sneaks up, and performs a, 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 a I say a death blow. That's just me talking about Sekiro. Um, he, does look like he does he does have kind of a like a, a backstab death blow kind of vibe to it. It looks like he slits the guy's throat almost, which it's it's not something we've ever seen in the Dark Souls game. No, I think I think they're gonna. I'm hoping that they do the same thing they did with Dark Souls Three because when I played through Dark Souls Three. They added so many stuff that was in, in Bloodborne. And there were even little touches of the things that they were going to add Sekiro in it. Um, but I mean, before kind of going into the, the, the nuts and bolts and what this trailer actually is and what it means, what, 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 did, what did you make, think of the trailer from what you saw? Or were there, oh, horseback riding as well was in there. There was yeah. fighting on horseback. I mean, yeah, I'll I mean, kick over to you. <laughs> yeah, the horseback riding and the horseback combat has been something they've been talking about quite a lot, about how this game is going to be very different from the others, you know. It's obviously an open world. And the good thing about the trailer is you can, like you said about this tree, it's kind of ever present in the background. You can always kind of see it there. It looks massive, but it also looks quite far away. What that kind of tells me is that this open world is going to be, yeah, yeah. Dark Souls has always been kind of one of those games where it's kind of a trick open world. So you have little units, which can lead into corridors into little units. And the way they kind of get around that is by making large structures around you. So you can't have any draw distance. There's no sense of distance in your space, if that makes any sense. You know, if you look at Dark Souls 1, you can't defile it. It's fine, you've got uh, undead birds on your right and you've got mountains on your left. You can't see any further, but it kind of gives off that image that there's more. Yeah. Um, if you get into An Orlando, and if you go into Bloodborne, you go to Yarno, it's got the buildings and it feels massive but it kind of hems you in which is a pretty smart move you know they're not open world games they are like hub world games but this looks like you're going to be on wide open vistas you know from where you're fighting is just a massive plane that you just happen to be on and you can see this tree in the background is quite far now obviously that to me just indicates that it's a big open world game and yeah. you can kind of go on and that is what they've been promising they're promising horse riding horseback combat and it's all there. Um, the only thing that, not a disappointment as such, but the only thing I was a bit, I would have liked to have seen it be a bit more disassociated from Dark Souls. I mean, obviously it's, you know, you had the kind of eldritch gothicness of Bloodborne, the, uh, the kind of esoteric um, yokai filled world of, of Sekiro, and you had the old, um, you know, Eastern European medieval Dark Souls. And obviously I see that Elden Ring's kind of going in that same vein. It's going to be that medieval kind of action RPG game. So the aesthetic will seem similar, but, you know, I, obviously this could all be because it's an old trailer, but I mean, you said it yourself, it's got a very Dark Souls fat roll look about the role. Um, I think one of the spells you see looks very much like um, Great Magic Weapon, where the yeah, guy... Yeah slashes and it's just a blue blade and that is basically a great magic weapon from dark souls um the, obviously these could just be character models ahead of the time they just put them in to kind of has placeholders to fit within the world because the, the world does look slightly different so it, it could be a case this is all going to be changed and you know here's hoping it will be this is still early days where this is all leaked and you know it doesn't look exactly polished and, and ready for consumption um I'm hoping they go a different route. I'm hoping they try and make it enough enough of a difference for me to be like, okay, it's not just an open world Dark Souls game, which I would enjoy, but I, I would like to see kind of a bit more. And I, I have a feeling, and I could be wrong, I have a feeling that the mythology this is going to be based around is going to be quite Norse. Because my the imagery of that tree, right, just gives me Idrisil kind of um, like imagery. You know, it's got this world tree 
kind of vibe. It's right in the middle. It's big, it's glowing, and it's like, everything else seems to be revolving around it. And it could even be like where you're headed, your kind of goal in the end. Yeah. So that's the case. it could obviously bring in a bit more of the Norse things that could explain a bit of the giants um, and a bit of the, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's good. But we want to see more, right? Yeah, it's it. Obviously, it's better than nothing, and it's more than what we had. Um, there's a lot of things in there you said that I agree with, and I'm hoping. Um, I mean, just to touch on those other things, people are saying this is an old trailer from last year. It it was never meant to see the light of day. It was internal. Um, there are models, or characters that are being that are stand-ins are being used. Apparently, if people are saying the graphics don't look good, I don't know how you can judge the graphics based upon the video I've seen, uh, which yeah. I think maybe is a bit uh, a bit harsh. But then even that's been addressed, and they're saying that that's been updated from what it was last year. I mean, the thing that gives it away is not only the confidential stamp all over it, it's yeah. the fact that they refer to it at the end as by the people who make Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and that's Sekiro. Right. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't advertise that as... If Bandai Namco were releasing a game, they wouldn't advertise that because um, Sekiro is Activision and Bloodborne is, is, is Sony's. Yeah. So but the only way you're going to do that is if you do it. That's what basically the story is coming out. This is internal for people in Europe, the, the stockholders, to show them what they're working on. Um, I, I was just happy to see it, to be fair. I like the fact that there seemed to be a lot more light. There was a lot more light in it, it seemed to be. Um, yeah. Like, it seemed a lot lighter. Like, I think the games have not progressively gotten lighter, uh, but but maybe so. I think, uh, like I say, with next-gen co uh, consoles, the thing I'm really looking forward to is is... The thing that really stands out with graphics now is the use of light, and I think that can help build atmosphere in games like this. Um, yeah, but I mean, we'll we'll see what comes out of it. If it is an old trailer, I, I think it's been leaked purposely. Uh, there's parts of the trailer, um, like they 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 patch the trailer together into the bits they do have, and it seems like the last bit is missing. I don't know what the last bit may you have say. on it. Um, the gameplay trailer that we see. Um, I, I'm not saying I'm looking at the timestamp, but I'm looking at the, the timeline on the screen because you can see it moving as the video goes along. So I'm going, okay, this is a 30 second video. Time Timeline started there, finishes here when it cuts off and then the next one goes to here and there's a bit here that's cut off. But in the gameplay one, it doesn't seem to be, it seems to be a much bigger chunk. Yeah. And I don't know how big that chunk is, but it seems to be a much bigger chunk. So I'm, I'm wondering if more will come out from there. Um, the, the rumor is that we're getting a trailer this month uh, Microsoft are adamant it's not coming at their event. Yeah, like um, <laughs> but saying it's not going to be there. But you, like, you seem to be quite adamant that this is going to be. That's a red herring. That this is definitely going to be there. Either that, or they've got enough hype that they can just announce it themselves. Or there, there was there was talks. There, there, there was talks that they um, they trademarked the um, the term Bandai Nam uh, Bandai Namco Next, which could be an event. It could be an event. It could be nothing, but it could be an event. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think they have enough to really do an event on their own. I mean, and I'm quite big, but they're not really known for like, standing on their own two feet. I mean, I don't think. I think Elden Ring's big in our like you know our community. We know <laughs> being sells like nerds. But I don't know if it has the ire of the world. You know, I don't think if everyone's eyes are on it and they're going to be um, as in in did to kind of. Uh, log in and, and watch an entire display of just this. Now, the timing of this, like you said, we've got this Microsoft thing coming up. We've got someone officially saying that there's going to be an event. There's going to be something shown before, I think they said before the end of March, there's definitely going to be something shown, but then Microsoft saying it's not going to be theirs. And now we've got these leaks. And the leaks are all from, like you said, they're from different, they seem to be coming from different locations. And they seem to all be different things. So if you've got the trailer and the gameplay side of things, so I can only imagine it's someone who's one. One is one person who's seen the trailer, and another one's someone who maybe has played an alpha build. And it was just kind of a, a test demo. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about the timing? Do you think it's all a bit weird? I think um, I think what you said there is is right. I think it's probably come from two sources. And timing wise, come on, look, people. If this is from last year and if they wanted it to leak last year, they could have leaked it last year. We heard last year that there was a trailer circulating. I'm pretty sure at some point we covered it, um, but we never saw anything. Why are we seeing it now? Why, what, what's, what's happened that somebody has just gone, okay, 
and you know it, it, it yeah but timing seems too perfect i think i think they've put this out as a little bit of like maybe a little a morsel maybe there is nothing coming but this is going to tide people over mm-hmm. because now they've seen something um obviously there's talks of delays because obviously it's been a year in lockdown now and that's put a a strain on the development of the game and how they've been finishing it. But then everything else we've heard is that it's, it's close to, it's close to completion, 80%, 90%. It's got a rating. I do hope it's this year, but if it is next year, I won't be mad just because how things have been over the last year with gaming, not going to talk about it, not going to say it. <laughs> 2077. <laughs> the same route as CD Project Red. We yeah. love it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I doubt that would. I, I doubt that would be the case. I, I doubt it would actually be the case. They've never, they've never put out a, a um, an incomplete product. And if things were incomplete or there were un- incomplete elements about the games, they usually just cut them out. And then somebody smarter than all of us goes, "Oh, I wonder what this file does if I open it up. Oh, it's a hidden boss." Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure there's something coming. And, and another thing is apparently there's this. Japanese event going on which is being held by Kadokawa and it's sponsored by Bandai Namco but um, people are saying that's that's really really freaking obscure for them to um, and uh, to put out something there um, but some people are saying aha watch out yeah. I mean I think I think it is a bit of that um, that you know the you know the meme from from um, Always Sunny where you got the guy over the the board and he's looking for that I don't know if you've ever seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. But um, I'll send it to you. It's, um, it has a bit of that kind of vibe of it of just every little morsel where everyone's going, oh, this must be this bit and this must be that bit. But we don't know. All we know is we've seen, apparently we've seen some gameplay of Elden Ring now. Uh, we've also seen a trailer and that's more than enough for King Costi to write a 55 page essay. Yes. Which he has. He also has a PowerPoint ready. So if you guys are willing to <laughs> buckle up, the next, next hour and a half is going to be a PowerPoint of why exactly what I mean is going to be the best game ever made and um, how King Crosby's going to buy coffee and none of you can ever play it. So, um, yeah. I, 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 I pre ordered three copies just to be safe. <laughs> 3,000 copies. Yeah. Just to be safe. Uh, he's got every console. Um, anything else we need to cover on that? No, that's everything. I mean, I, I hope there is more to come, uh, more concrete stuff, a date, or, or even just like a, a, a Q, Q, Q1 2022. Yeah. Q4 2021 would be nice. Um, Holiday 2021. But, I mean, look, from software, I've always been the type of people, they don't, they don't wait on ceremony, they announce something that comes out within a year. So yeah. that's what I'd expect from them. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel the same i think we'll get something i think we'll get some sort of concrete idea of when it's coming out this year uh whether that be next year or later this year i don't really mind i've, I've got a lot of my slate i don't need a game that's going to be as hard as dark souls but as long as the witcher 3 <laughs> um because i'll be playing it for the rest of my life but yeah i'd be happy with that but i want it to be perfect and i think you kind of ate that earlier it's that it needs if it's going to be delayed to be right I'd rather that be the case, you know, if it's going to be as beautiful as Demon's Souls and it's going to be as fluid as, as Dark Souls 3 with regards to the way it controlled and even throwing some of the elements of the games they've figured out later, you know, a bit more Bloodborne, a bit of Sekiro, I'm happy with that. And I will wait and I think that the community will agree with me and us in general, that's, that's something they're willing to wait for. So, you know, Miyazaki, we know you're listening. Uh, <laughs> big fan. Big fan of, <laughs> fan of this channel. Um, yeah, you know, do your thing, man. Take your time. But if we get to hear something, we'll be very happy. And of course, if anything else does come up, expect another video quite like this, but with me and Costi just laughing, crying, jumping around. Uh, rolling. Yeah. Just literally rolling on the floor. And that would be the entire video. Maybe about an hour and a half long, but you know, it's worth watching. You wait till the end and we start talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, this has been our first ever live face video um hopefully it's not the last hopefully our faces haven't scared you away from the channel and <laughs> following us if you've liked it please leave a like uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more let us know down in the comments what you think about Elden ring if you've seen the traders yourself what do you think is going to happen we want to hear your theories we want to hear what you have to say stay tuned to raven gaming for more on Elden ring when it gets released and more gaming news in general bye guys <laughs>